How are you guys doing today? If you're new around here, my name is Ashley and I'm a soil scientist on this channel. I take all things science and apply it to all things plants, both indoors and outside. And in today's video, we're doing the all too highly requested video of coconut choir based seed starter. So I bought a plant best and it is coconut choir. It's called Beats Pete Jr. Here, this is miracle grow evil i know um stuff here i'm going to show you guys how to sterilize peat based potting soil as well this is incredibly frozen right now because i left it in my vehicle but i'll be doing the sterilization process in a separate video here so i want to jump in to what's inside of this coconut core what kind of consistency it is and actually compare it to a regular seed germination mix that's peat based which is our classic mixture for seed starter so i did an entire video on the difference between i compared coconut coir to peat and then i did a separate video just on coconut coir and then i did a separate video just on peat moss just to give you a really good look at all the different angles when it comes to the amendments we're using in our soilless medium. Ultimately, it comes down to personal preference. There is a little bit of an ethics debate there saying peat isn't, for example, organically or it's not a renewable resource, which is true to a point. And we discussed that in that video. It's a little bit older, so I'm not sure the filming quality is not as good, but the, the content, the information is there. So in that, uh, we discuss the ethics of it. We talk about the peat industry, particularly in Canada and how it's regulated because it is heavily regulated. And then we talk a little bit about the ethics and where coconut coir comes from and some of the issues that come with coconut coirs. Both of them have their equal catch to them. Neither one is perfect. In this package, it basically says just add hot water. So it says add a gallon. You can add as little or as much as you would like based on what kind of moisture you want. And this is boiling hot water, B -b boiling. When I was in high school, I worked at Petland, actually in university too. While I was going through university, Petland paid for basically my university um, besides the research departments I worked in. But I worked at Petland and this is identical to the stuff we put in the terrariums. So terrarium stuff is cheaper. That may be the one to go with. Oh, it smells like coconut coir too. Crazy, me, the reptile community has been literally using this for decades, literal decades. So right off the bat, it is incredibly fibrous. I will say that much. It is that same porous looking structure as a lot of these hairs in it. So I think personally with this product, one of the issues you're going to run into is a medium that dries out very, very quickly. Now for some of those that are like nanny plant people, uh, this may not be a bad thing. I would not add perlite to this. I would not add pumice. I would not add any aeration to this for a seed starting mix in particular. But this would be really good for uh, lettuce seedlings you're starting in indoors because they are uh, photosensitive, meaning they're sensitive to light. They do need exposure to light in order to properly germinate. So I could see this being beneficial for starting them indoors. Uh, but it's going to dry out very quickly. I would not mist this product. Misting would not work. You would need to water, preferably bottom water this stuff. That is really, really, really porous. This is a drastically different product compared to peat. Like dr this is different, drastically different. I don't know why I thought the, this is, Sorry, this is different than peat, but the exact same as just a regular coconut coir you use for plants. And I don't know why in my head I thought that this would be finer. Can you hear my cat? I don't know why I thought this would be finer. Like it would be a finer texture. It wouldn't be as granular. But it's incredibly granular. Hmm. I think what I'm gonna do with this, since I have it anyways, is I might start 
seeds in, so I'll start, I'll do my onions. I'll do my onions in the coconut coir, and then I'll do some in the peat, and then I'll maybe do some 50-50, so half coconut coir, half peat, and see what the difference is. But yeah, just judging from what I'm looking at here, guys, a few takeaways. Just judging from what I'm looking at here, guys, there's a few takeaways here. The medium is really coarse, very coarse. And so I wouldn't actually add any sort of perlite to this. I would leave this as is. I would leave it pretty dense. You're going to have a hard enough time just keeping the water in the system to begin with without uh, adding pumice because it's going to evaporate pretty quickly because there's going to be a lot of air. I think there's seeds in particular that are going to germinate really well in this. So things like lettuce, like photosensitive plants are going to germinate really, really nicely in this. I think anything that requires any level of heat distribution or heat to germinate, such as a heating pad or something of that nature, you may end up with uneven distribution only due to the fact that it's not the same uh, size particle throughout the entire thing. Like, Peat is relatively consistent. Like it's it's a consistent texture the whole way through. This has big clumps, little clumps, fibrous clumps, you name it inside of it. And so in my opinion, it's relatively uneven, which can have its downfalls when it comes to seed starting. Now for plant care and having plants indoors, no, as there's, there's benefits to having an uneven structure such as that, but uh, for the coconut coir, not so much. And uh, if you have this, you are going to have to bottom water. You're really going to have to watch your, your moisture levels because there is going to be a substantial amount of evaporation from this system. Now, one thing to keep in mind with the coconut coir is beside the bottom watering, how you actually pack this into the cell is really going to be key. So I'm assuming the reason why the coconut coir isn't in the Jiffy husks is because it would be really difficult to put this in a Jiffy husk netting and actually ensure that it has like a uniform texture throughout without some sort of sieving mixture. Like, so I just found this clump of just fibrous material. So this is a great example of potentially um, this being inside of like one of those nylon nettings and interrupting your, your plant's growth. But if you don't pack this into the cell, you're going to end up with areas with air and then your roots are going to air prune themselves on the seedlings. Now on air, on full blown plants, it's not a bad thing. I mean, air pruning has its benefits, but on seedling, it's not a great thing because we only have so many roots to prune. And so we really want to reduce that stress when possible. But yeah, I mean, there's no reason why you can't use it. Like I said, I think I'd be like semi cautious about its use and really make sure that you give it lots of water. But the other side of that is because it has that extra airflow, who knows, maybe, maybe, just maybe, you won't end up with uh, fungus as much, right? Because you have that extra added airflow. So benefits, negatives. I'll try this out with my onions that I'm going to be planting here in the very near future. And I will let you guys know what the result of that is and how that works out for me. I'll, fil I'll film it. I'll film it and let you guys know. But yeah interesting yeah i don't know it's just regular old soil <laughs> this is like my first time ever touching this so i'm just like kind of amazed there's gonna be quite a bit of this video cut out of me just like playing <laughs> with it tell me you love the vector in which plant nutrients is delivered without telling me you love the vector in which plant nutrients is delivered. It smells 
glorious. Glorious. But yeah, that's that's all I have for you guys today on Coconut Quar for seed starting mix. Check out the next video or video some point in the near future where I'm actually planting, potting my plants up in this. I'll show you how I pack it into the actual seed cells and all that fun stuff. But yeah, without further ado, I'll talk to you guys next time. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button. Let me know in the comments down below what your favorite potting medium is. Is it the coconut coir? Is it the peat moss? I'd be uh, happy to know. I'll talk to you guys next time. Bye. There's a bug in there. There's a poor bug, beetle, huge, it's like that big, all dried up, shipped out. My dog's looking at me right now. That's who I'm looking at. Can you shipped out? It's probably from Sri Lanka, maybe Florida. Oh, hi.